We'll have you up in no time. I definitely read your comments, and lately I've gotten a ton of comments to check out some of the medical situations from the TV show SpongeBob SquarePants. For those of you who haven't seen the show though, SpongeBob SquarePants is a yellow sponge that lives in a pineapple with his pet snail Gary in the city of Bikini Bottom on the floor of the Pacific Ocean. He works as a fry cook at the Krusty Krab and has a best friend named Patrick. Evidently, there are medical situations in the show, but to be honest, I don't really remember that, so this should be super interesting. But before we get into it, my name is Dr. Jordan Wagner. I'm an ER doc that deals with every medical situation that you could think of. This channel was created to answer the questions that I get from people every single day. If you find this video helpful, please make sure you smack that subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on. That way you learn when I post a new video. Let's dive right in. I feel horrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first off, remember we sneeze, not just in our hands, but we gotta sneeze like this, right? That way we don't spread it and then shake everybody's hands after we sneeze in our own hand. <laughs> Oof, everywhere again. Oh my gosh. Coming. You know, when you get sick, you always like feel horrible and you gotta bundle up. Gotta be careful not to bundle up too much. You're gonna cause your temperature to come back. But actually like nighttime when you're like sweated out and you drench your sheets, you usually feel better the next day. But be careful overheating. Hey, SpongeBob. <laughs> going skiing? I'm sick, Patrick. I'm going to the doctor. What? Oh, you can't go. He's got to be wearing a mask, but it's good to go to the doc. Doctor pulls out his stethoscope. Whoa! <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's a device so sinister. The stethoscope is a good device that we use to actually listen to anything internally. So icy cold when it touches your bare flesh, it. <laughs> 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 Yes, it is cold. We don't do this on purpose. It happens. So we apologize for anything being cold when we touch the skin. You gotta help me get better, Patrick. Please. Would you like to be my doctor, Patrick? What else are friends for? Has, has he moved? It appears as though we'll have to plug up these holes. <laughs> this ought to do the trick. <laughs> He's plugging up his holes. I guess that would be equivalent to just our mouth or our nose. So don't do that. Obviously, look what's happening. He's about to explode. Don't touch me, I'm <laughs> sterile. Let's go, please. <laughs> Feeling better? <laughs> oh! Feeling better yet? Nothing like just a full body physical exam when you got a cold or a cough. Removing the tooth like that? I've seen it. I've seen YouTube videos where people do that. That one looked like it was pretty intact. You can see all the roots to the tooth. Oh, <laughs> about no. Oh my God. I don't I think so. <laughs> well, Mr. Squarepants, it seems you have the suds. Oh, the suds. Are you ready for nice. your treatment? You get the sponge treatment. Oh, oh Hans. I want to know what the sponge treatment is. <laughs> getting cleaned up, getting soap, it's getting disinfected, and then it's being used. <laughs> I love that it's being used on like every dirty surface. I feel as good as new. I love the doctor. I love that he had a good experience at going to the doctor's. What's wrong? Look out for that tree! Oh no! Don't worry Woo. guys, everything's under control. Cause I'm- Oh no, you gotta pay attention. Oh my gosh. Land on your bottom. Head injury is gonna happen. Oh, land on that. <laughs> no, you're on the bottom. <laughs> Ow! Oh! That's gonna hurt. So SpongeBob just wrecked his bottom. You can have a fracture of your sacrum or your coccyx bones, which is like our tailbone. When it comes to a broken tailbone, there's really not much to actually do. We always tell people anti-inflammatories, pain medications, and then buy one of those inflatable donuts when you want to sit down so you're not putting direct pressure right on that fracture or the bruised area. Well, it looks like your gluteus maximus has made a full recovery. <laughs> My what has a what now? Your butt's all better. It's really quite amazing. It took 20 hours to put it all back together, but from now on, I'd like you to be more careful. One more injury like that, and you could wind up like that poor creature there in the iron butt. <laughs> 
I don't understand what the iron butt is, but that's hilarious. I think it's almost like a little excessive to have such a massive machine and iron contraption as a substitute for a small buttocks. You really saved me! Oh, you gotta be careful with slipping on things on the floor. Gosh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, splinter. bad splinter right into the thumb. I can feel that right now. Ouch. Okay, well, it's been nice knowing you, but you have got oh. to go oh. now. Oh, uh. oh, I'm trying to use this. Oh, no. <laughs> you're tough, you're smart, and you are charming, but you are still no match for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, splinters. You should be able to take them out. Sometimes if they're super deep, a big, huge piece of wood like that, you might need to go to the hospital to get them taken out. And then we have different tools to try to get this out. Please pick up, please pick up, please pick up. Patrick? Call Dr. Patrick. I got a splinter in my thumb. Mm hmm Oh, I see. Think <laughs> I can fit you in. Thanks, Patrick. No problem. Oh, I love it. Using gloves. He's got his jacket on. Now, let's see where the problem's at. <laughs> hmm. uh, Patrick? Hmm. Interesting. Patrick, this isn't helping. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You were a I love it. I love it. Oh, no, no. It looks like you have things under control. Please, oh, Patrick. My gosh. I don't want to go home early. I hope doctors don't pout like that. They're humans. Oh, my gosh. Oh. What? Ow! Oh. There appears to be a little <laughs> bit of swelling. <laughs> this garbage. Oh, my gosh. It's like the opposite of what you're supposed to do. Oh my gosh, making it even worse, I got infected. Yeah, but my shift is over. <laughs> because it's a dirty wound, sometimes you may be put on antibiotics or just topical antibiotics because you don't want it to get infected. Having a barrier there is helpful. Putting a bunch of trash on the wound, obviously made it get infected. Smashing it with another object, probably not the best idea. Grab your candy striper here. At the Grab a uniform out of the closet. Nice, candy striper, I love it. <laughs> Volunteer at the hospital. <laughs> oh, I wish the, the candy stripes actually were candy. <laughs> ah, doctor, thank goodness you're here. We were just looking for another physician to join us on our round. What treatment might you prescribe for this next patient, doctor? So what do you think? Will I be able to run in the Bikini Bottom Marathon next week? Oh my, <laughs> no. I'm afraid you're... Yeah, you definitely don't just take a horribly fractured leg and just start waving it around. It's gonna be extremely painful. Plus, the more you move it around, bone is sharp when it breaks, so you actually try not to do that. The only time we typically manipulate a bone that's not in surgery is to cause a distraction on it. When you do that, you try to put it back in alignment and it actually gives relief and protects the patient against lacerating any of those vital uh, tissues. We'll have you up in no time. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, just throw away the whole set of bones and just give a whole new set back. We can't do that yet, but typically we'll put metal rods in somebody. What is it, Doctor? What's going on? This man has no insurance. He'll never be able to afford this room. You're right, nurse. Extract the patient to the hallway. Yeah, horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A long time ago, there was actually issues where if people didn't have certain insurances, they would just be, like, taken out of the hospital, which is against the law. Regarding your patient, Doctor, I have come to this conclusion. Yes, go on. We have to surgically remove him from out in front of the candy machine so I can get to the Nutty Nut Bar. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. I see that there's X's over the eyes, so does that mean that the, the patient is dead? Definitely don't dump patients out of your hospital, it's horrible. Administrator Flotsam, what can I do for you? It has come to my attention that your patient is out on the front sidewalk. Yes, yes he is. Oh, what were you thinking, man? We're trying to run a business here. We can't leave patients on the sidewalk. Not to worry. Nurse! I'm on it. <laughs> What's happening? Oh my gosh. Oh my, come on. Administration, yes, oversees a lot of things. They make the rules, so to speak. When it comes to uh, physicians and myself as a doctor, I see every single patient that gets put before me that any emergency is taken care of. And if they need to be admitted to the hospital, they do. If they need a prescription of medications, they are given it and then discharged home. There's never abandoning a patient because they don't have insurance. That's totally against the law and it is definitely not moral. 
So I love these clips. This is hilarious. So I've never seen these specific medical clips from SpongeBob SquarePants. I usually see like other funny scenes. But they actually do a really good job. It's very funny and entertaining from a medical standpoint. Do you have a favorite show that features medical situations that you want me to react to? Let me know which show or episode in the comments below. And if you want to see me react to video games, check me out on the Expert React series on Gameology right here. As always, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more fun videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.